Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello everyone, welcome to a new tutorial from Simon Says It. In this video, I will show you how to graph a function in Excel. Excel has proven to be a beneficial tool for performing various calculations. In addition to calculating the values, Excel also has the ability to provide a relationship between the input and output values in the form of graphs and charts. In this video, I will show you how to use a function and graph a function in Excel using two easy ways. Let's dive into it. In Excel, you can use the functions to establish a relationship between the input and output easily. There are two ways to use functions in Excel. First, if you are going to be operating on any mainstream function, Excel has a huge library of built-in functions you can choose from. You can just select the functions, enter the values, and Excel gives you the output. Select a cell and enter the values. Now, to add a function, click on any destination cell. Navigate to Formulas in the menu bar. Under Function Library, you will find a variety of categories. Select the function you want to operate on. This opens up another dialog box asking you to enter the arguments for the function. You can enter any constant value. Or if you want to select or add the name of the cell in the text box and click OK. This gives the sine wave value for the given input. Now you can use the drag handle to perform the function on other cells too. Secondly, there are some functions that might not be available in the Excel function library. In such cases, you can manually create a function and get the output. Manually entering the function in Excel is very simple. Just add an equal sign before the function in the destination cell and type them. In the case of variables, select or enter the cell number to get the output. Consider the example of a quadratic equation. Enter the inputs in one column. Let it be called x. The inputs can be positive, decimal, negative, or even zero. Now enter the function in the destination cell. Always remember to add an asterisk in place of multiplication when entering functions manually. Press Enter. This gives you the output corresponding to the function and the input. You can use the drag handle to add the function to other cells and get a series of outputs. Once you have the input and output for the required function, it is fairly easy to plot a graph. To plot a graph, select the x-axis input and y-axis output of the graph. Go to the Insert menu. Under Charts, select Scatter. Click on the type of scatter chart to represent the data. This plots a graph for the function with the inputs and outputs along the x and y axes, respectively. That is all, everyone! Plotting a function in the form of a graph gives an insight into the usage of the function easily to interpret the data. In this video, we saw how to use a function and graph a function in Excel. If you have any queries, please leave your thoughts in the comments section below. We are always here to help you. Thank you. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full blog article that this video came from, please click over there and click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.